Hey guys, David Risley here, and I wanted to uh, give you guys a quick preview of Headway 3.0. Now, some of you guys may use Headway already. It's one of the uh, of many uh, WordPress theme frameworks out there, but this one is really unique in that you can dr literally draw your theme on your screen. It's like if you want to have something where you can create a uh, your your layout for your blog and really not know any code I mean this is really really cool so I got a preview of this at blog world LA I know some people may have seen this before uh, but it's not been released yet and I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like so let's go over to the screen here so we're sitting here inside of a little uh, sandbox blog that I've set up and we got headway 3.0 over here and it says there's nothing here right now, but let's jump right into the visual editor. We could also click that right there. So let's do that. Now this is where it really, really gets cool. Here we are. Now this is something that I was playing around with already. Let me remove some of these. I'm gonna show you how this works. You're basically, you're gonna start out with a blank you know, canvas here, really. And um, so there we go. This is what you're going to start out with. It's completely blank, and you're like, okay, let's draw what I want my blog to look like. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, we're in layout mode right now, um, and we're just going to literally just draw something here. Let's, let's say we're going to have a header at, our, at the top like this, and we'll say this is going to be the header. Um, let's move this up a little bit. Right underneath that, we'll go ahead and draw the menu. We'll call that the navigation. Now you can see it's got some pre-formatted stuff here, but that's only because I was already playing around with this and I was kind of dabbling with the settings. Yours is going to look a little bit more basic until you go in there and play around with your fonts and your colors and things like that. Um, if you want, let's say a, a, a right, let's do a right-hand sidebar because that's pretty typical. So we'll just go ahead and draw that and we'll call that the widget area so you can put widgets there just like you know you would do with any normal uh, sidebar and let's uh, draw content right here and we'll call that the content area I mean how easy was that I mean that's pretty much what we just did to create the site if we um, it, there's nothing to save right now because this is pretty much what I already had on my screen. Uh, but this is pretty cool. Now, it, what you can you can also add other elements if you wanted to move the content down. And, I don't know, stick something in right here. Let's see what else. they got. Media where you can bring in photos and things like that. Um, let's see what other c content types they have. Uh, you could put custom code in there, so pretty much anything you want there if you want to get all uh, customizey. Um, you could do breadcrumbs, which are really easy to do breadcrumbs. Um, you know, it's 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 really really cool what you can do here. So let's move that back up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, once you've uh, got the way you want your site to look, like the basic layout of, of placement, then you're going to switch over to design. And this is where you actually start playing around with colors and things like that. And if we go down here to the bottom, this is where you're going to see a lot of your settings. Uh, you know, fonts and images and the various blocks. Like here's your header. We could, you know, play around with the formatting. Let's say we don't like the, the, that the way it looks. So you can just go and pick a different one and see now it's Arial. Um, the byline. You can also obviously put in backgrounds and things like that. Um, there's lots of things that you can do here uh, just by going through these settings. Uh, if you want to mess around with your navigation, like your various menu items, you can see that I've already been playing around with this Arial, uh, the color. Um, if you want a different color for the background, then you know, like let's pick something like really out there, like blue. That looks good. I mean, if you want to, and then you can go for your hover color. And let's say you want to have it like a, maybe a little bit of a lighter blue or something like that. Or, well, since this is just a demo, I'll just put it there. Um, and you can see how it starts to hover. That, that hover color looks kind of a little weird there. So let's put the uh, hover color, continue it to be white. But you can kind of see how you can go in here and you can really, I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time to do it, but 
compare this to doing manual style sheets. I mean, this is a lot easier, unless you're just already a CSS ninja. But if you're not, I mean, this is this rocks. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff with this. So there you have it. I just wanted to give you uh, a small, short sneak peek into Headway 3. I mean, Headway 3... I think that it's a heck of an advancement. It's basically a total rewrite over prior versions of Headway, and it's really, really cool. Uh, if you do not know how to program your own theme, if you do not know how to get in and do nitty-gritty CSS work, then something like Headway is going to be a really, really big help to you. Now, I want to leave you with this, and that is that um, I have a little bit of insider information regarding Headway 3. It's, I think they've already announced that it's going to be released on November 25th, which at least as of this recording is in about a week. Um, the other thing that that, uh, that I want to make sure you understand is that you might want to consider buying Headway 3 or buying Headway before November 25th. The reason being is because their terms of service are going to be changing at the time that they release Headway 3 officially um, and that they're going to be starting to charge annual renewal fees on Headway. Now a lot of people do this already. There's a lot of premium uh, themes and plugins like that where you have to pay a little bit on a yearly basis to be able to have access to upgrades. That's what Headway is going to be do, doing and it makes perfect sense because their updates are pretty substantial. I mean Headway 3 is a complete and total rewrite over prior versions. It's pretty much a brand new product so it makes perfect sense to me that they're going to start ch charging a small annual fee um, in order to be able to access these completely new products that they're putting out. So, uh, But if you buy Headway which obviously you're going to be getting version 2 right now. If you buy it, you're not only going to get the free upgrade to Headway 3, so you don't have to rebuy anything, but you're also going to be exempt from annual upgrade fees because their current terms of service are that they it's free upgrades for life. So um, I would encourage you to consider, if you want something like this, to get into Headway uh, before November 25th. That way you'll have access to Headway 3 when they release it. You can start playing around with it, and you will also not have to pay any upgrade fees from this point forward, which is an awesome thing. Uh, so just want to let you guys know that. If you want to get your copy of Headway, go to getheadwaytheme.com um, and, uh, and purchase it. And you could do that at any time, but if you do it before November 25th, you're not going to have to pay those annual upgrade fees, and that's a good thing. All right, talk to you guys soon.